Hey, fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. I still have a slight cold, but I'm trying to make these videos. Anyway, there's a lot of things to go through, a lot of equipment to review. Uh, this time we deal with uh, something that I think many of you have been waiting for. It's the Hawk Power String. We were supposed to do a joint giveaway together with Head. But then the, the factory where they produced this string in Nashville was flooded, if I'm not misremembering this. And yeah, we couldn't do it. So um, it's uh, still sold out in most places and not available for sale. But I will keep you updated when it is. Uh, because it's a very good string. Uh, this one, the Hawk Power in Petrol Blue. There's so many funny colors, but this one looks great. And it stands out a bit with its blue uh, shade. And what is it inspired by? Well, there's no real secret that it is the famous Luxlon Olo Power. That iconic string been around on tour for very, very long, as long as polyester strings, and it's uh, very, very popular among the pros. And obviously companies want something that plays similar. In case they sign pro players, they want them to use their strings. I think that makes a lot of sense. And there's something about all the power that many players on all levels really that use polyester strings like. And I would give a slight warning, don't use polyester strings if you're kind of beginner to intermediate. There's no real point. Use a multi-filament or gut string even. Much better to save your arm. You get a bit more power. And then the string will naturally break when you're done. But still, polyesters are used because they snap back. So you can get lots of good spin. They're very durable. And they offer great control. That's mainly the reason. Control and spin. That's why you use polyester strings. And what's so good with, with Hawk Power slash Olo Power. I mean, Olo Power was the string that kind of started it all. And that it has that blend. Uh, it's it's weird to call a polyester string a power string, but all the power feels like it has some pop to it, a little bit of a, of a give in the string bed. And I think that's what uh, a lot of pros really like, that feeling of all the power. Still great control, good spin despite being a round string. Quick commercial break, I want to talk about the Fuzzy Yellow Bolts singles playbook, how to learn patterns of play, how to beat certain types of players, pushers, baseliners, serve and volleyers. You have all that in different chapters paired with videos you can find online so you can really get this stuff ingrained into your game. I really like this product, I bought it a year before they asked to sponsor Tennis Nerd and Tennis Nerd videos. So I'm really happy about that. Check it out, the link is in the description. Most polyester strings today have some kind of shape, whether it's six-sided, eight-sided, four-sided, but this is just a round one and it still provides good spin. That kind of sidedness on the string that will provide maybe a tiny bit more bite, but it it's, can be exaggerated how much help when it comes to spin potential on your shots that it provides. Uh, this string provides ample spin, it is a tiny bit softer, in my opinion, to all the power. I played them side by side, and I've used this in many different rackets. The Head Extreme Tour, when I went to Kennelbach, I used it in the Dunlop FX500. I've used it in the Radical Pro, in both a hybrid with a natural gut, regular string. I've used it in the new Gravity rackets that are coming soon. I prefer it in a full bed. I didn't like it as much in hybrid setup. I'm not sure why, to be honest. I don't really have an answer. Both Nick and I tried it with natural gut and we thought we'd love it, but it just didn't work. Maybe it's the racket. This was the Radical Pro Oxetic, uh, but it just didn't work as well. But overall, in a full bed, it feels a bit softer than all the power, but many similarities, nice control, nice sensation when you hit the ball, actually, and uh, just a very dependable string. Tension maintenance is quite similar to all the power. It's not the longest. It plays best when fresh or at least one hour in. If you're not a string breaker, you might start seeing some clear tension reduction in like 8 to 10 hours. But it depends obviously how hard you hit, with how much spin you hit. The more you push the string, the more you reduce the lifetime of the string. So it's a little bit up to the player, of course. Uh, it's not the most durable string, but it plays great until it's done and dusted and you can actually string it at a really low tension and it plays nice i'm meaning around 44 pounds which is 20 kilos or below so i think this string responds well to lower tensions uh, you get still good bite good snap back and good control with it so one of my favorite polis alongside all the power very hard to tell them apart if, if it was a blind test and they were both silver colored and you couldn't see any writing on the string i think i might have a hard time telling them apart i've tested so many different products over these years of tennis nerds so maybe i'd be able to to pick it up but these are quite similar maybe a tad softer this one but it's very slim yeah this will be a, a string i keep using in my head rackets 
really enjoy that. As you know, I enjoyed the new Radicals, and I think it played great in the new Radical Rackets, especially. Also enjoyed it a lot, as you can see in the video, in the Extreme Tour, in the new Extreme Tour. I thought those, the string and the racket complemented each other well. Was also fine in the Dunlop FX500. That's a racket that is pretty stiff. Uh, but despite this string, strung at 53 pounds, 24 kilos, it played fine for the arm and also with some good control uh, for such a power racket. So this is a great string. I really enjoy it. I think they did their homework here. Obviously, it's heavily inspired by Olo Power, and I completely understand why you want to have this type of string considering how popular Olo Power is among the pros. Some head pros have already switched this string. We will probably see more coming up. So I will get into that in, in future videos, I'm sure. If you're curious about the origins of the string and so on, I've done a podcast together with Dennis Fabian from Head, where we talk about Hawk Power. This was before, I think, the flooding of the of the factory and stuff like that. But uh, it could be interesting to listen to. Check out the Tennis Nerd podcast. All right, so Hawk Power... Excellent new round polyester string. Nothing super innovative or revolutionary, but just a very solid competitor to all the power. Good feeling, nice control, excellent snapback, not too stiff. One of my favorite polys right now. Uh, so check it out when it's available at our partners, Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe and Tennis Only. So I will keep you posted on this because it's a string I really like. I would like to hear what you think about it. If you've tried it, put that in the comments below. That is all for this Tennis Nerd video. If you want to grow your tennis game, check out our app, the Unstrung Nerds app that I did together with Nikki. It's in the App Store, coming to the Google Play Store in a couple of days. So check that out. The link is in the description. I also have a racket course and a bunch of other stuff. Go to TennisNerd.net to find out more about the Tennis Nerd universe or support me and get more content on Patreon.com slash TennisNerd. That is all. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.